What's going on everyone? Haven't posted a video in about two weeks because the truck was broken again. But let's dive into it and talk about what actually broke this time. So this is what broke on the truck. Believe it or not, it had nothing to do with the engine. It was the steering wheel controls. The buttons were kind of finicky, so they just replaced the button cluster. The outside air temperature was reading incorrect. Turns out it was just moisture between the sensor and the reader, so they just replaced that. And then the final thing which they couldn't fix, which was this right here, is this heat shield. As you can tell, it's fallen down, it's touching the turbos. It's actually burning already. You can see it right there. So all we gotta do is just glue that back up. And the way I'm gonna do that is with this JB Wheel steel stick. I'm just gonna roll it into little balls, stick it onto the firewall, push the insulation up against it, let it set up, and it should be able to take the heat. So the way this stuff works is pretty simple. All you gotta do is just cut off a little piece of it. Cuts pretty easy. Take the plastic off. And then you just kind of start kneading it. It feels like a dry Play-Doh. It's not um, really tricky to do. It's kind of crumpling in my hands. It's all right though. Now it's starting to get a little bit more consistent. And you want to knead it until the color is uniform. So this will be kind of hard to see because it's hard to show on camera. But back there on top of the turbo, there's a little rubber grommet sticking out. And all you got to do, there's a slit in the insulation already. And you got to widen the hole with the with a knife. And then you could go ahead and put the rubber grommet back over. So what I'm going to do on the front here, since it's all hanging down, so I'm going to go on ahead and re-glue all that right there. One way you can tell you have this all nice and mixed up, it, it gets a little warm in your hands. And it's also a uniform color. Right now I got like a gray black going on. So let's go ahead and get this on the heat shield. Finished installing it all. You can tell it's all held up back now. A little on the corner, but I didn't put any there. Probably should have, but I'm not going to. And that should fix it. Well, the truck is all fixed. Stay tuned for more, because now I'm going to start doing upgrades to it. And also going to do a comparison between a 450 and a 350. See you guys later.